Let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Anyone have a shadow name? Don't let them learn your shadow name or they can control you. All right. Um, I mean, I'm seeing Visa and Discover. I mean, Chase is a bank. I, I don't think this would be it, but okay. Visa is like a way into a country. Um, hmm. We've got track. We've got tra No, that's not trail. That's tail. Track and tail are synonyms, though. Maybe find, maybe chase. What else would we have here? The find and chase don't feel the same contextually as track and trail, though. Also, track and trail could be like something you go on to, like in nature. You know what I'm talking about? Like things you hike on? I know it could just be find and chase, though. I feel like we've had that before. Something similar. Okay. I'm not going to lock that in yet. I am seeing props and credit, which are ways of giving people praise, for example. Um, what else? Oh, shadow is also a way to... Okay, let's, let's come back to that. Um, what's, what's like a way of complimenting? Glory does not feel the same, does it? I mean, you can give someone glory. That feels wrong to me. Props, praise, credit. Hmm. Is there something more obvious for that? Name is a bit out there. I'm not sure what name would go with. All right, I am going to try these four together. I, I might be one away, though. Oh, kudos. Gl really, glory. Glory be to you for completing the assignment on time. All right. Um, let's see. So we have, we have, um, where did it go? <laughs> rearranged. Um, we've got track, we've got trail, and we've got shadow. Why did shadow end up way down there? Find feels different, doesn't it? So does chase. But between the two, I'm not sure which one I'd even choose. So I think I have to, I have to find another category. Okay, we've got name. Name feels a bit out there. But I'm not sure what I could connect with name. Realize and learn maybe are similar. Discover. Yeah, discover, learn, and realize are just maybe finding something out. Photo, track, stamp, name. Okay, I'm thinking name and stamp might be similar. Just thinking ahead a bit. I'm going to try locking these in. Okay, good. Become aware of. And so now I, now I think it is trail, track, chase, and shadow. I feel like visa, stamp, name, and photo are like things on official documents. Pursue. Okay. Name, stamp, visa, photo. I mean, these are just like th things on your passport. Things you'd have in your passport. Seen in a passport. Okay. Well, they went easy on us today. I even got them in the color order from most straightforward to least straightforward. All right. Well, um, yeah, this is as good an opportunity as any to point out that this game does have a help button. And in the help button, it, it, does, it does document <laughs> what the colors mean. Um, everyone says easy to hard. They're actually straightforward to tricky, which I think is a slightly different concept. It's, it's how out of the box you need to think for that category, although I'm not sure that really applied to this one. But anyway, let me know how you did. Let's do the mini crossword for March 23rd, 2024. Let's go. Ooh, it's a big one today. Battering RAM did some computer programming. Past tense did some co code coded, maybe? Uh, coating on lashes. Tear, whoa, it's long. Uh, I'm not sure. Major influence on Walt Whitman and Henry David Thoreau. Poetry. Uh, I don't know who influenced them. Chocolate hazelnut spread. Nutella. Or is it? It's Nutella like that. Yeah. Stainless stuff. Steel. High school courses for college credit. What are those called? I IPA or something like that? A A what's, the, what's the acronym? It's been so long since I was in high school. I'll skip it. Uh, something stone, uh, the Rosetta Stone. It's very important for hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, actually. The insidious proliferation of modern marketing. 
ad advertising ad something uh red spots on the skin I'm not sure uh albert blank nobel winning author of the stranger i don't know sorry albert dryly humorous mike i don't i don't know uh dudes men maybe uh california's santa santa anna wins okay they have very creative uses of anna whenever it comes up all right coating on lashes medusa no uh if you suffer from mesophilia or, okay anyway major influence on walt whitman and henry david thoreau oh emerson emerson okay uh still still it's ap oh is it it's plural so it's ap's okay that's why i was confused what is this the insidious prol proliferation of modern marketing add is something wrong add reaps i don't know red spots on the skin measles is it mea or mee I think MEA looks better. Albert someone. <laughs> Dryly humorous. Droll. Coating on lashes. Mascara. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Who has described mascara as coating on lashes? <laughs> Raise your hand. All right. Um, I don't need mascara. My eyelashes are naturally beautiful. All right um let's see what did i miss camus still haven't heard of camus is that a okay but what is this ad creep the insidious pro proliferation of modern marketing ad creep okay measles yep droll anna uh yeah i think that was it well how'd you do let's do strands for march 23rd today's theme is romeo and juliet so we could be something like Shakespeare plays, or we could be something like people from opposite families who fall in love and then ultimately uh, die. Okay, it could be romantic things, kiss. Now that I see kiss. Um, I feel like it should be people who come from different families that who fall in love and then ultimately die. I think that would be a really good spanogram to have. Um, it's just like romantic or... Something like that. I see love. I see love. Okay, I wasn't sure if it would be love or loves, but I tried love first, and that was correct. Um, something's like going around this corner. That's kind of interesting. What's doing that? Disnasiniop. My favorite word. Um, poison. Okay. One of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I mean, obviously, poison is in Romeo and Juliet. Um, a stud. Studs are in Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> is Romeo a stud? Must have been. Let's see. Far. What's our? Oh, so our span. Our spanogram either ends in this O or goes top to bottom. Either way, it would be. Yeah, I'm not sure. Because this is on the bottom and the right. So what is this doing? Um. Something about like this. Sorry, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about this area here that kind of hugs the edge. Feels limited. Something like cross. Hmm. Oh, star crossed. There it is. Nice. Star crossed lovers. These just words from Romeo and Juliet. Um Okay, we have four words left. I think this is going to be one word then. Uh, Coney ball. <laughs> La Labby can co. <laughs> Hold on, what is this? Cla clay, cl clab, you know. Uh, clab, you know. Um, Coney ball. I might have to come back to that. Okay, let's come back to it. How about up here? Duet? No. Hmm. Two T's here. There's four more words. Assuming this is one word, then we have three words over here. 
Do I, is there destiny or something here? I'm not, not seeing destiny. Raged? <laughs> or just rage? No. Why can't I see this? This is getting tough. <laughs> just food. Food. This D, I want to focus on this D. Um, always good to focus on the D. So in this case, it's in a corner and it can only connect to two different things. And I'm really not seeing how DF would work either way. So I think it's going to go DU, maybe DUF, duff it. Because if we do DUF, we have to go to the E. Otherwise, the E gets isolated. The E has to be used in a word that's at least four letters long. So if we do this, right, the E is on its own and it can't connect to a word. So that's not going to work. So we'd have to go D-U-F-E. And then, then we're forced to go all the way down until it's a word. Duff it rag. Duff it raged. Um, so maybe it ends in U-D instead. I feel like it would have to end in F-U-D, though. So it would be something like Artifud. <laughs> I am so confused right now. There's obviously a case I haven't thought of. Oh, it's feud. It's feud. Feud is the E U D is so weird. Okay, and then tragedy. I don't know why suddenly. Wait, there's just a Y here. Trist. Interesting. And then balcony. Balcony. How did I not think of that? Well, sometimes just you have to. You have to take a step away, and then you have to come back. Okay, cool. I feel like I could have done better on that, but I also think I could have done much worse. So, you know, it is what it is. And the theme was uh, a little bit on point today. So I wonder if they're kind of experimenting with that. I like when the theme is a, a little bit diverged from, from the words, but I don't know. What do you think? And let me know how you did.